Salut tout le monde, c'est Bobours, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour la suite des péripéties dans le mode dans le jeu WWE 2K15, le mode 2K Showcase, avec euh, meilleur ami, pire ennemi. On s'est arrêté la dernière fois sur un match tag team à 6, où euh, Triple H, Kevin Nash et Flair euh, battaient Booker T, Shawn Michael... Non, Kevin, euh, Booker T, Shawn Michael et Kevin Nash. C'était Chris Jericho dans l'équipe qui gagnait, et pas Nash, j'ai dit une bêtise. Et pas Nash, oh, quel jeu de mots. Euh, donc je lance le match, Ric Flair, Shawn Michael, et je lance ça maintenant. Coming off a grueling title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve Austin had other plans. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time, Ric Flair. What? I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity at stake, Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and beat a guy like Triple H right now? I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do to Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair! I am here to tell you that you, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair wannabe. He just, he just took a punch on Michael. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch to me. I took it from you. Ric Flair. Shawn Michaels at Bad Blood, the dream match, perhaps of all time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rip Flair! People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss-up. It's either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s, as no one has ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who wanted to be like Ric Flair. From just down the road in San Antonio, Shawn Michaels has made his way here to Houston. Well, you said it before, Cole. Nobody dominated the 80s like Nate, Rick Flair. And nobody dominated the 90s like Shawn Michaels. But you know what? This is 2003. Who's going to dominate tonight?
C'est parti, je contrôle Ric Flair. Some of the greatest five star matches and match of the year candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels. J'essaie de m'attaquer principalement aux jambes. Ceci, je dois le faire abandonner. J'essaie de le faire abandonner avec mon figure fort, leg lock. Non, leg lock. Here, the Flair has his cult following too, as always. Ric Flair going for it. J'ai quoi comme technique Oui. Au sol, haut du corps. Ah oui, je vois ce que c'est. Et knee breaker, debout, de face. A bit of a test of strength here. Ric Flair making a move. Je prendra pas le dessus. Go with Ric Flair. Ric Flair making a move. We'll see just how important Ric Flair's signature move, the figure four leg lock, becomes before the end of this match. Ooh. The Nature Boy uses effectively. It's been said that it puts some oh. pressure on seven different points of your legs. Well, let me tell you something, Cole. I felt it and I hate it. I don't think there's anything worse than the. Je me méfie parce que il fait quand même plus de dégâts que moi. One of his chops. is not someone to sleep on. A swift kick. C'est bien Rick Flair attaque les jambes. J'ai dit coucher. You know Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athletic Ric Flair scores with la jambe. tremendous moves. Ric Flair, as we all know, is the master of the figure four leg lock. Likes to get you on the ground and work the legs. And when he decides to focus on the oui. Flair ça, ça va aller lui abîmer un peu les jambes. Oh, you said it, Cole. When Flair decides to work. Bah, c'est ce que je suis en train de faire, hein. Figure uh, four leg lock, hein. C'est marrant de me dire de faire ça. C'est ce que je suis en train de faire. Bon. Projeter Michael dans le coin. D'accord. Off Flair in the corner now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee. Oh, look, oh, look at that. that. Blake low blow. And I think I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. What are you gonna do now, Nature Boy? Woo! Je les deux. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Ah, je crois qu'il était plus blessé aux jambes, j'ai eu peur. C'est quoi ce bordel? Ah, Ric Flair, ça c'est un catcheur que j'ai appris à aimer aussi. Comme je vous l'ai dit, c'est une période où, où je me suis vraiment mis sérieusement au catch, même si je regardais un peu avant. L'époque de l'évolution, c'est. Voilà, c'est le moment où je regardais le plus. Et, euh, et Ric Flair, je pouvais vraiment pas le supporter. Je trouvais que son ring, il valait rien. Et après, j'ai vu quelques matchs super qu'il a fait, et c'est là que j'ai vraiment commencé à apprécier ce catcher et je me suis mis à regarder des vieux matchs à l'époque où il affrontait Hulk Hogan et tout ça. C'est ça que je me suis dit, c'est une grande superstar. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. Allez. Réveille-toi, fais le, fig le figure four maintenant. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Ric Flair with the figure four, but no. 
himself right into the official. And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. <laughs> and he's tuning up the band for some sweet chin music on Nate. Look out, Nature Boy. And he connects. Who the man. heck? Randy Orton with a steel chair to the back of Shawn Michaels. And look at this. He's putting Nature Boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding Talking the referee? His, his buddy Flair. And there's the three count. I can't believe this, Cole! No, I can't. That's the way these guys operate. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, is he's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. Ric Flair can barely stand, but... Shawn Michaels is out. L'époque où Shawn Michael, euh, Shawn Michael, où Randy Orton était un petit miné quand même. Orton paid dividends. What you see in this ring is the greatest example of evolution. Et là, j'ai le temps pour un deuxième match. Later that same night, Triple H's long title reign came to an end. In the weeks to come, the game would enlist an animal in an effort to reclaim his throne. And Batista, the hell? Batista solving Shawn Michaels! HBK's problems only became worse with the addition of the newest member of Evolution. At the 2003 Survivor Series, the animal would unleash his rage. We're down to Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton! Wait a minute! That animal! Batista! No! Look, Sean, I powerbombed your ass straight to hell! Hey, just come on down, you jacked up Nimrod! Batista and Michaels will go one-on-one -on -one at Armageddon! Dave Batista, six foot five, 325 pounds! In 30 years, but I've been around this business, I don't think I've ever seen a better big match wrestler than Sean Michaels. Un petit Batista Shawn Michael, ouais pas mal. Mais je me demande contre qui j'arrive pas à me rappeler contre qui Triple H avait perdu son titre. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Je vais regarder son, sur internet le temps des entrées. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michael. Shawn Michaels representing San Antonio, Texas, is one of the most honored champions in the history of WWE, making his 68th WWE pay-per-view appearance king. Wow. It'll be only the third for Batista. Well, with Shawn Michaels, we all saw what happened in Survivor Series. Batista interfering in the Heartbreak Kids match against Randy Orton and costing Shawn Michaels the victory. And being accompanied by the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 318 pounds, Batista! 
So far tonight at Armageddon King, Evolution is 1-0. Randy Orton beating Rob Van Dam to win the Intercontinental Championship earlier. And Batista will do everything in his power to make it 2-0 for Evolution tonight. And so will Nate. Ric Flair led Randy Orton to victory, and I think he's got it in that twisted, sick mind of his that he's going to lead Batista to victory right here as well. Apparemment, c'était face à Goldberg. Je me rappelais pas que, que Triple H avait enrôlé euh, Batista à ce moment-là. Je pensais qu'il l'avait enrôlé avant. Bon, faut dire, faut dire ça remonte à longtemps. Bon, C'est dommage, je ne contrôle pas Batista. was a vicious elbow drop. It doesn't take too long to look at Batista and recognize. Bon, c'est bizarre, il devait pas avoir de droit pour euh, Goldberg parce que ils ont montré aucun, aucune image. Alors qu'il était dans le jeu l'année dernière quand même. Well conditioned athlete King, but on the other side, there's something that can't be seen by the naked eye. The big intangible here tonight, Shawn Michaels' unprecedented will to win. Ouf. Allez. Je t'explose, Batista. Oula. Ou pas. Aïe. Tu pas peur. Tu me fais mal, mais tu me fais pas peur. Allez, un petit short. Nature Boy Ric Flair has instructed Batista to show no mercy to Shawn Michaels tonight. To try to hurt him, I guarantee you. C'est juste pour le blesser. From the dirtiest player in the game. And injury worries are always hanging over Shawn Michaels' head. His history of back problems is lengthy and very well known. That's exactly why so many of his opponents focus squarely on that lower back of his. But King, Shawn Michaels is something a little different than anyone else I've ever seen. An incredible veteran heart that allows him to persevere through even the toughest battles despite his back. Aïe. Continue m'attaquer. No, not again! And Batista has taken control. Shawn Michaels switches it up. HBK can be so unpredictable. Je peux pas lui faire le switch in music tout de suite parce que avec ma chance de lui faire des dégâts modérés, ce sera ça mon objectif. Et il contre bien, Batista. Alors, ah, devinez le beau drop. D'accord. Que bien sûr ils me contreront vu que ça fait partie de l'objectif. Il est quand même à 51% de sa, de sa finition. Pour avoir sa prise de finition, Batista. Il faut que je fasse gaffe. Shawn Michaels would love to win this for himself, to get the victory over Batista. But there's more to it than just. Allez, stamina remonte. Referring, of course, to this history with Evolution as a whole, King, and the run-in Shawn Michaels has had with every single member of that group. Well, I can't stress it enough. Shawn Michaels would absolutely love to derail Evolution oh, by beating Batista right here, and that's exactly what an HBK win would do. Mais non. Voilà, comme par hasard. 
can get the win here, and with Randy Orton already having won. Ça veut pas. This would have all the makings of a legendary night. Ça va, heureusement que je suis rapide. Look out! Shawn Michaels hits the chair. Voilà. A huge move. Il y a un switch de musique. Shawn Michaels can't. He's tearing up the band. Gonna go over to sweet chin music. This is gonna be bad for Batista, but wait a minute. Oh, what a counter! Ooh! Spine buster by the animal! Incredible counter by Batista! And now it looks like Batista ready to do Shawn Michaels in. Batista feeling it. Batista gonna look for the, the patented Batista bomb right here. Shawn Michaels in serious, serious trouble. Here he goes! Well, it looks like it's all over for Shawn Michaels here. N'empêche, ça c'est l'époque Air Comes the Pain, qui pour moi est l'un des meilleurs, si ce n'est le meilleur. He got him! Michaels got him! Air Comes the Pain, meilleur jeu de la WWE. Shawn Michaels has beat the animal! I can't believe it! And neither can Shawn Michaels! Well, Evolution will not have a clean sweep tonight, thanks to Shawn Michaels. This throws a hugest monkey wrench into the plans of Evolution at Armageddon. Somehow, some way, Shawn Michaels has survived. His will to win is amazing. What an athlete and what a match! He's the showstopper. Ah oui, Armageddon, Triple H récupère le World Heavyweight, c'est vrai qu'ils gardent tous des titres. Sauf que, ils ont tous gagné des titres à Armageddon on risque de dire une bêtise. Le match que j'ai fait avant, c'était pas Armageddon, si Donc Batista avait deux matchs à Armageddon en 2003. D'accord, je me rappelais pas de ça non plus. Faut, faut que la mémoire me revienne, là. Donc, euh, on va s'arrêter là, les amis. La prochaine fois, on se retrouvera dans un match pour le titre World Heavyweight à Raw entre Shawn Michael et Triple H. En tout cas, les amis, je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo, et je vous dis à bientôt.